Yes, it might have been made famous in the 80s, but it's still a classic. So today we're going to be making chicken liver pate. Hi there guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making chicken liver pate. So let's start with slicing up half a white onion and three cloves of garlic. Throw them into a pan with some olive oil and some bay leaves. Throw in some dried thyme and rosemary and season well and then start sweating them down. Once you start seeing a bit of colour, deglaze the pan with about 150 millilitres of red wine and reduce this down to cook off the alcohol. Once reduced, just leave to the side to cool down. Then throw in 700 grams of chicken livers and add the cooled down mixture. Season generously, then add a touch of nutmeg, black pepper, two eggs, 80 grams of melted butter and then blitz on high until extremely smooth and then to make this even smoother we're going to strain it so just pass it through a sieve into another bowl gently pushing it through with a spatula then we're going to add 150 milliliters of cream stir that in thoroughly and then we're ready to get our baking tray take some cling film and try to get into the corners and make it as smooth as possible and put another sheet of cling film the other way to completely enclose the mixture. Then pour the mixture into about two centimeters from the top and fold back over the cling film like you're tucking it into bed. Tell it a little bedtime story, it would love you for it. And we're gonna cook this in a bain-marie, place in another baking tray and fill up to halfway with water. And then we're gonna cook this for about an hour and 15 minutes at 110 degrees, but we don't want the mixture to go above 64 degrees. So if you're lucky enough to have a thermometer, make sure you probe it and check that it doesn't go over 64 degrees. Once cooked, leave in the fridge overnight to cool completely. Then the next day, unwrap this little beauty, slice off a piece and you'll see how beautifully pink it is on the inside. Just season with a touch of Malden sea salt and some olive oil and you are ready to go. Seriously, look how pink it is. It's so creamy and so beautiful. And if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.